So here's a question for you. Which one weighs more? One kilogram of feathers or one kilogram of iron? I mean, it's a silly question, isn't it? They both got the same mass. But we know that if we had a kilogram of iron, it wouldn't take up that much space. A kilogram of feathers, on the other hand, you'd need a pretty hefty bag. One kilogram of feathers takes up a lot more room than one kilogram of iron. We're talking about density. Density is all about how heavy something is compared to how much space it fills. We give it the symbol rho. That's a P without the little ear on top. Be careful, rho can also mean resistivity. So make sure that you're talking about the right rho. And that's equals to mass divided by volume or how much space something takes up. So it's going to be M divided by big V. What's the units of this gonna be? Mass is kilograms. It's gonna be divided by volume. Area is meters squared if we look at one face of this block here, but volume is this area times the depth as well. So it's gonna be meters cubed. So it's kilograms per meter cubed. So you know the mass of something, and you know its volume, you can find out its density. Or if you know something's density and you know its volume, then you can figure out its mass, etc., etc. What about if it's a sphere? A ball, that's equals to four thirds pi r cubed. And for a block, it's going to be length times width times height. And that's for a cuboid. That's fairly simple, isn't it? The difficulty comes though, when people have to deal with milliliters. Now one milliliter is one centimeter cubed. That's very small. But we don't use centimeters cubed for volume, we use meters cubed. So we need some way of figuring out how many meters cubed that is. There's my meter cubed, there's my centimeter cubed. All you have to do is convert centimeters into meters three times. So let's say that I have 50 milliliters. That's equals to 50 centimeters cubed. How do I convert that into meters cubed? Well, I know to convert centimeters into meters, the conversion factor is 100. But let's have a think, am I timesing or dividing by 100? Going from centimeters to meters, I should have a smaller number. So I need to divide by 100. Once you've figured out that, all you have to do is do that three times. So 50 divided by 100, divided by 100, divided by 100. That's converting centimeters into meters once, twice, three times to get to meters cubed. Or you can combine these into just one number. That's gonna be divided by a million. Now, this gets a little bit messy. So let's have a think about standard form real quick. Centimeters in standard form is 10 to the minus two meters. So we can just go 10 to the minus two, 10 to the minus two times 10 to the minus two. Put these together, we end up with 10 to the minus six. So to convert centimeters cubed, that's milliliters into meters cubed, all I have to do is do 50 times 10 to the minus six meters cubed. And there's my answer, and I can leave it a standard form. If this was millimeters cubed, for some reason maybe, instead, then we'd have to divide by a thousand three times. So that's 10 to the minus three, three times. If this was decimeter cubed, a decimeter is 10 centimeters, so we'd have to divide by 10 three times. So that's gonna be divided by a thousand overall. So that's how we convert centimeters cubed milliliters into meters cubed. What about if we've got a mixture of two materials that have two different densities? For metals, we call these alloys. But this works for any two substances. So we have one substance that has its own density, it has its own volume, and therefore it has its own mass. And we have a second one. What we're gonna do is add these two together to make a mixture or an alloy. How do we find out what the density of our new material is? Well, we know from earlier that density is equals to mass divided by volume, so that must mean that mass is equals to density times volume. So that's the case for these two here. The mass of A is density times volume of A. Mass of B 
is equal to the density times the volume of B. So the density of this material is going to be the total mass divided by the total volume. So what we know is that the mass of this is going to be equal to the mass of both materials added up together. So our total mass is going to be equal to the mass of A, which is rho A V A plus the mass of B, rho B V B, divided by the total volume. There you go, that's how you can find out the density of an alloy, knowing the density and volumes of the two mixtures that made it. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below if you think I've missed anything or you have a question. And I'll see you next time.